Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab your mind to revive your body. A lot of people who have gotten COVID-19 have had long-standing symptoms, and they've called it long COVID. Some of the symptoms, the list a few are coughing, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, chest pressure, to list a few. Today, we've got an exercise that targets that diaphragm to improve that capacity. So stay tuned. But before we do, we would love your support. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like. Okay, we're gonna do this diaphragmatic breathing exercise. It actually requires a little bit of understanding of the diaphragm itself, especially for those of us who are battling some of these long COVID symptoms like the shortness of breath. Also, I wanna kind of preface this that this is also a great relaxation technique. It also improves that mobility in that vagus nerve, that little fight or flight that runs through here. I want all of you, and I say this to everyone, uh, think of an umbrella drink. And your diaphragm basically acts like that little paper umbrella. So when you inhale, the umbrella opens up. And then when you exhale, it goes and closes. So inhale, closes. So it pushes all the air out. It's like a negative vacuum. So it's doing this kind of motion. And that's going to be the key to understanding how we're going to pass our little pressurized air ball coming up. Uh, what I want you to think of is you're going to inhale a full breath and then you're going to let go half of it. And then what's going to ultimately happen is you're going to hold it for about 30 seconds. I like to place my hand to these different areas. You can follow along. I pass the pressurized air ball for five or six times. So watch this. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to let it go. Half breath. Hold it. And then I'm going to go up. Yeah. <sighs> and notice I'm not doing like a pelvic rocking or anything. You could also do this exercise once you get proficient in this in sitting and standing. So that is okay as well. So let's try that again. My hands are at the target. I'm gonna inhale and then let out half my breath and then pass it again. <sighs> Especially if things are stretching, you can go deeper into the base of your throat, down towards your pelvic floor. Do this about five or six times. That's about 30 seconds, right? So let's do that again. <sighs> it's expanding as we go. The goal is to get more real estate here for our lungs, our pleura, which is the connective tissue that kind of holds our lungs in between our rib cage. You want to be good about that, making that more open. Now, if you get pretty good at this up and down passing, you can do diagonals. So let's try that. You want to move that up and down you might find a corner that's actually really tight you can keep shoving that pressurized air ball that direction so let's try that <sighs> this side moves a little bit better in my person uh, in my personal point of view not sure if you guys can see that but it's not a whole lot of movement. Some people can do this really well. And if you get really good, you could do boxes, you could do zigzag Z's, you could go X. Um, so we'll just do a little box. So I'm gonna go from here to here. Then up to here. Then over here. Then back down. So 
I don't have the best rib cage, but I definitely want to constantly work on this. Like I said, this is going to help hopefully those of you who have chest pressure, that feeling, that need, that cough, that itch you want to scratch that's deep inside. This is a good way to try to work on that, improve that shortness of breath, improve that capacity, get a little bit more lymphatic drainage, blood flow, getting things di kind of recycled and get that debris out, get that inflammation out and really make that improvement. So that's our goal. Just keep improving your rib cage capacity. Things get tight after COVID and some of you who've had that high fever, things get real tight to that soft tissue and the fascia and really start clamping down. So we wanna make more space. So hopefully you enjoyed that follow along video and you've benefited. But if you haven't felt any improvement or some small improvement, keep doing this as much as possible, especially when you got different symptoms. Please use it. There's no how much, just keep doing it and it's gonna benefit you. Uh, of course, we'd love for you to check with your healthcare practitioner, make sure it's a good exercise for you, but breathing better, who's gonna say no to that? And if you've had changes and you'd love to share with others, please leave those in the comment box below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like our video. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.